Hey up and welcome to Callum's Corner. Today, by popular request, we are going to deal with Flo and Joan. So many of you now have commented and messaged me, asking me, begging me, beseeching me to deal with these sisters. And I'm glad you did, because they annoy the crap out of me. Honestly, the only thing that possibly could annoy me more than them is my sister, Amy. Uh, and maybe this red rash that I get in hot weather up at the kind of top of my thigh, uh, right where kind of leg meets testicle, chafe city. Uh, anyway, anyway, they annoy the crap out of me. They get right on my tits. Now, since I donned my superhero outfit and decided to clean the world up a bit, there has been some criticism. People saying, oh, Callum is pointless. Adverts don't even matter. Even people accusing me of being a prude. Me. A prude, right? A little while ago, I had a girlfriend who actually popped her finger up into my bottom. I mean, it was unexpected and it was actually quite painful due to my hemorrhoids and I had to break up with her straight away afterwards. However, nonetheless, that was the sexual arena that I was playing in and you're accusing me of being a prude. But even as a confirmed non-prude, I do not appreciate sitting there on the sofa with my elderly mother and having an advert pop up onto the screen in which a young disabled girl demonstrates how she had a spasm-inspired turbo wank. Adverts matter. It's not like a TV show when you can choose what you're going to watch and who with in case it's going to be rude or something, is it? Right? They're on all the bloody time and you get no choice who you watch them with. So, Flo and Joan. They're currently starring in a series of adverts, a nationwide building society. These adverts are both really, really annoying and also incredibly bloody stupid. They have literally nothing to do with banking. It's just a pair of sisters who I find about as endearing as a bloody case of the squits when you run out of toilet paper, singing idiotic songs in an irritating manner. For example, look at this from their most popular advert, Sibling Rivalry. Sisters, a song by Flo and Joan. I like sweets and I like crisps. Guess what, Flo and Joan? Everybody likes crisps or sweets unless they're pissed or bloody mental. And also, what on earth has that got to do with a bloody building society? We are sisters. We have the same mother as sisters. Oh, the same mother, really. Thanks for explaining how sisters work. And it's not just this one advert, although this one is particularly annoying. There's bloody loads of them. Check out this catchy little number. Mum, now's the time that you have to decide which one of us do you like best? Neither of them. Can I choose neither of them? Oh, they're awful, aren't they? They're like a bloody B-Tech version of Melon Bloody Sue. And it's Melon Bloody Sue put to music. You can see why I'm so disturbed. Anyway, I'm going to show you some more. I don't want people saying, you know, I was being unfair and only showing the worst ones. They've made loads of them. And each is more stupid and irritating than the last. This next one, the pair of them are singing in the back of a van. Because that makes it more relevant to a building society, apparently. Six foot five. The mugs in the wall, I can shower in the kitchen sink. Can have a shave while I have a drink. Mm, yeah, I wash my plates with my feet, cause that's time saving. Now my plates smell like soap and my feet smell like gravy, but it's... What? I mean, that is mental, mental, chicken oriental, isn't it? Literally, the only thing that could make that worse is if they played one of those bloody ukuleles in it. God, and again, it's got nothing to do with banking. It's got literally nothing to do with Nationwide Building Society. It makes no sense. They're literally annoying me for no bloody reason. It's madness. Anyway, in this next one, they go all edgy. We've even got some split screen action going on. Life in a van, I put my life and in then a I painted all of your faces on the van just to show I'm your number one fan. I kissed all of your posters before I sleep. Oh. God, that is like the world's most disappointing fruit machine. I mean, we've already got the double of audio and visual aids being transmitted through the screen at us. Do we then need to chop the screen up and concentrate the bloody dosage? 
and that one with glasses, that one on the left, there is something about her cold, lifeless stare that I do not like. I've got strong suspicions that she's on ketamine. But I don't want to just bash these sisters. Yes, they are incredibly annoying, but at the end of the day, they are just doing a job. It's nationwide that's to blame. Someone there has literally thought, oh, you know what will be a great advert, a great way to explain and promote what we're all about? We get a couple of sisters, whack them in the back of a van and get them to sing a song about washing up with their feet. That is a great advert. No, it's not. It is stupid. And we all have to endure it. So I'm going to help. Constructive criticism. Listen up, Nationwide. This is what you should have done. You are a building society. You should have had someone come out onto screen very simply and remind people about the financial crisis a few years back where we, the taxpayers, had to bail out the bloody banks and all the bloody shareholders of these banks, the bloody Marcuses and Alistairs, the bloody champagne quaffing twats with overdeveloped chins. They just drove off in their expensive sports cars, bloody scot-free, didn't they? Well, Nationwide is a building society, so it has no share holders. Any profits it makes goes back to the members, the people who have the accounts. Simple is, simple as, simple does. You keep the money, you keep the profits, rather than it going in bloody Alistair and Marcus's ample pile. See, it's simple. You just trust people with actual information rather than putting on this stupid song and dance that's got nothing to do with what you were actually talking about. Anyway, Nationwide, that's my gift to you. You're welcome. It's up to you whether you take that on board or not. Any other companies who've watched this and like what they hear, my kind of common sense approach to advertising, I am available for corporate work. Right, that's it. We've spent enough time talking about that now. I have been made aware that there is a load more filth out there in terms of Malteser adverts, so I will be dealing with the world to those soon and of course very shortly my penis club will be launching so stay tuned for exciting news about that if you enjoyed the video feel free to leave a like if you didn't leave a dislike uh, just be honest and thank you very much for watching